Hey guys, this is Tutorial Tuesdays. I already did this once, so I'm gonna get this done probably faster than normal. Um, so yeah, I was doing, I was rendering it and my computer locked up and it didn't save it. So yeah, so, uh, today we're doing track motion in Sony Vegas, but first I got some good news. Uh, I got 30 subscribers in one week, so, uh, if you want a free edit, you have to have all your clips together and, um, and just tell me a song and, uh, or you want a background like this, a computer background. I don't do YouTube backgrounds. So I don't have. I don't know how to. But if you want either one of those, just write it in the comments. Just say edit or background, and I will send you a message. The one I pick. Um, and yeah, so I'll give you the details. So uh, and also instead of I used to do 20 subscribers in a week, we got to 30 this week. So I'm gonna see if we can get to 30 next week. Okay. Okay. Thanks, guys. And uh, we're gonna start up. Sony Vegas, we're going to be doing track motion. And, yeah. Open Sony Vegas Pro 10. This works for 8. Oh, yes. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, actually, we're going to close this. Okay, so, uh, you want to insert your uh, clip or your video or whatever you want to call it okay so uh, we're gonna do track motion today and first we're gonna get rid of these black bars the thing you have to do with those go to this little clicker button right here and go to the template and HDV 720 by 30p apply okay uh, then to go to track motion go to tools video track motion okay so uh... say i wanted just this to be in the corner of a screen all you'd have to do is drag this in here you can rotate it do whatever you want to with it You, if you want to get it back to normal z would be your origin and um... y would be your y axis and x would be your x axis you use those that aligned again um... and then say if I wanted to get it in, in the upper left hand corner like that I could do that um but I'm gonna show you something real quick say if I I wanted the full screen track motion okay we'll say that's full screen okay so uh, we go to this right here and if I wanted to I could do the same thing right I could just put it in the corner or put it like right. Let's zoom out. I could put it in a corner. Something like that. Okay, yeah, that's cool. But say, what if I wanted to zoom in on something? I couldn't. So we're just going to reset this to default. I'm going to show you how to do that. If, like, say that if you want to zoom in on your clip, but your clip you don't want your clip full screen, the way to do it is go to Tools video go to track motion set this over here you line it up with that make it a little bit smaller like that and then say you want to zoom in on something then go to the event pan crop and zoom in so it's kind of like track motion has a higher priority over this uh, which is cool. I don't use track motion much, but um, I, I might do it a little bit more. So, uh, guys, please leave a thumbs up and um, and uh, tell me if you want the edit or the background, and I'll pick one of you. And uh, thank you. Bye. Wow. Okay.